less than an hour drive north of Tampa on Florida's Gulf Coast is one of the most offbeat, culturally rich communities in the state of Florida. Tarpon Springs was first settled in the 1870s, named for the giant tarpon that jumped and splashed in Spring Bayou. It was around the bayou where most of the town's early development took place as a wintering spot for well-to-do northerners. Victorian-era houses still dot the neighborhood. Toward the end of the century, boats would leave docks like the ones you see behind me to harvest sponges from Key West to the Panhandle. For a bigger return, the Greek technique of diving for sponges was implemented. An influx of Greek immigrants to the area soon followed, and the cultural identity of Tarpon Springs took root. What was once a remote village became the sponge capital of the world. At one point, natural sea sponges retrieved from the Gulf surpassed citrus as Florida's main export. Sponges still big in Tarpon Springs, and Greek heritage remains at the forefront. In fact, this community of just over 25,000 has the highest concentration of people of Greek descent than any other city in the nation. Today, we're taking you to the sponge docks and beyond, showing you the best things to do in Tarpon Springs. All of that and so much more straight ahead. Every aspect of the sponge industry can be viewed in Tarpon Springs, from harvesting to purchase. There's no better place to get up close and personal with this unique slice of the city's history than here at the sponge docks along Dodecanese Boulevard. A variety of cruises and boat tours depart from here. Some allow you to watch divers at work, while others take you out to see the dolphins or the sunset. We have a list of some of the boat tour companies on our website, chadgallivanter.com. Natural sea sponges grow in the shallow waters along Florida's Gulf Coast and are cut by hand by divers. State regulations control harvesting of the sponges, ensuring they have enough time to regenerate. If you're in the market for a natural sponge, you won't go home empty-handed. From the famous Spongerama, which is a combo museum and souvenir shop, to Tarpon Sponge Exchange, and Lori's Sponges and Soaps, the sponges are all local and come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The storied Greek heritage of Tarpon Springs is on full display here along Dodecanese Boulevard in mostly family-owned shops and eateries and other small businesses. Since 1970, Halas Restaurant and Bakery has been a proud cornerstone of the Greek community. They serve up an authentic cultural food experience that many say is the closest you can get to being in Greece without actually going there. One of their specialties, broiled octopus, a delicacy Greeks will take over lobster any day. We love stopping in at the bakery for some truly decadent sweet treats. Everything from baklava and other pastries to cookies, cakes, and bread made in-house.
covering more than 150 acres along the Gulf of Mexico, is Fred Howard Park. The park is open daily, 7 a.m. until sunset. With the white sandy beach picnic shelters and playgrounds, this park gets very crowded on weekends. There are automated pay stations with daily parking fees of $5. On your screen, some other natural areas you should check out in Tarpon Springs. For more than a century, St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral has been the heart of the Orthodox community in Tarpon Springs. After starting out in a small frame building in the early 1900s, a larger building was soon needed for a growing congregation. Sponge divers funded the Byzantine-influenced cathedral you see today by donating a portion of each sponge harvest to the building campaign. White marble came from Athens, Greece, and parishioners donated over 60 stained glass windows filled with vibrant portraits of saints and scenes from the life of Christ. With more than 100 historic buildings, the Tarpon Springs Historic District is full of shops, restaurants, places to grab a beer, and yes, reminders of the past. The train depot was constructed in the early 1900s and is one of the oldest surviving train stations in the Tampa Bay area. Now operated by the local historical society as a museum, exhibits inside tell the story of this unique community. Donations help keep the place going and are appreciated. Downtown is sometimes referred to as the Antique District, and for good reason. On the corner of South Safford Avenue and Oakwood Street is one of our favorites, Architectural Salvage Bank. Inside the massive showroom full of local treasures, you'll see everything from rusted windows and doors, stained glass, nautical decor, and eclectic home furnishings along with custom furniture pieces. You could literally spend hours here and still not see everything. Many consider Tarpon Springs the epicenter of Florida's growing craft beer industry. From stouts and IPAs to L's and Pilsners, whatever you're into, you'll find it at one of the many breweries downtown or by the sponge docks. There are simply too many to name, so what you're seeing right now, some of our recommendations. Remember, direct links to all of these places can be found on our website. We seek out ice cream shops that make their own products from scratch. Here in downtown Tarpon Springs, we hit the jackpot with the Orange Cycle Creamery. They always have a number of signature flavors on the menu, but what makes this place really special are the rotating flavors. Usually five a day and often flavor combinations you won't find anywhere else. That's it, our look at the best things to do in Tarpon Springs. We always love hearing from you. Leave us a comment and tell us how we did. We have travel tips, maps, and links to the places mentioned in our videos on our website, chadgallivanter.com. Check it out for your trip planning needs. Hey, one last thing, we make lots of travel guides from awesome Florida locations like Tarpon Springs, many off the beaten path. Take a look at some of our previous videos in our archives. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.